Hi guys and welcome to this Divi themed tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. We're going to continue on today with our Divi Enhancer plugin. It's a free plugin. There is a premium version also. But what we're going to do today is available with the free version. And it's an animated link. When I hover over this link, you can see those little brackets appear there. And it changes color. When I click on it, it takes us down to our timeline section. Handy little feature, and it's part of this free plugin, like I say. To install this plugin, just go to your plugins page. I've already got mine installed here. Hit the Add New button, and in the search box, simply type Divi Enhancer. And there it is. There's also another free one by same people, Divi Section Enhancer, so you can get that one too. Check it out. I've already got mine activated, but if you don't, there you go. Just install it and activate it. Okay, let's get building. We're going to do everything today on the front end. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. One of the great features about the Divi theme is that Visual Builder that lets you build it in real time on the front end of the site. If you're building any sort of WordPress site at all, I would recommend you take a look at Divi. It's just awesome and the features keep getting better and better. They keep adding new stuff. Uh, if you want to take it for a test drive, you can test drive it from my affiliate link below this video. So let's get building. First thing we want to do is add a new section. So I'm going to click on the little blue button there. Insert section, just a regular section will do fine. I'm going to add a single row. Now it's prompting us to add a module to the row. And Divi by default comes with all these modules. And these red ones here are the Divi Enhancer modules. And you'll notice some of the Divi Enhancer and the Divi Section Enhancer modules. If you click on them, they'll say only available in the Pro, but this one today is available in the free version, and it's the Divi Enhancer animated links right here. Okay, so let's put some text in. So we can see what's going on. And as I hover over, you can see those little brackets appear. That's effect number one. They've got about 20 effects here. I won't go through them all, but they've got some pretty good looking effects here. I'll add a bit of interest to your site. I'm going to stick with that first one. When you've got it installed, just have a look through, see what there is to suit you. Okay, so at the moment we've got this, and you can see that little animated effects working fine. Where do we want it to go? Well, let's, let's get it to take us down to this card section. This is a, a another enhancer feature right here, and if you notice, while we're in the Divi Builder, you can just see the short codes. But once you save and go down there, the, the cards that we built will be displayed there. So let's just check what this section CSS ID is. And if it doesn't have one, you can give it one. It's called Cards. Okay, so let's link to that with our little bit of text here. So it's a CSS ID, so I'm going to say hashtag cards, which is the name of the CSS ID I want it to link to. That's fine. Design wise, well, I want it a lot bigger and I want a white background. So let's go ahead and make the background white. Can't see the text because it's white on white. Let's go back and make our text green or whatever color you fancy. There we go, you can see the text now. Now let's 
bang that up a bit in size centralize it it doesn't show at the moment when we save that'll center that text spread out those letters just a little bit and then text color let's have a different one on hover so when we hover on it if you hit this little arrow with divi it'll show you a default and a hover state i'm going to click on the hover box and make that red when we hover on it there we go that's fine i don't think i want to change anything else there text center okay let's save and see what we've got hit the little purple button save our changes and exit the visual builder here we go and uh, there's our little mouse over effect those little square brackets appear each side and let's see if it'll go down to our card section yep come down to our card section like i say you can't see some of these when we're in the builder itself but once you save and get out it's all available so there you have it there's a little nice little animated link effect for your website nice little free plug in there that uh, adds a bit of interest value to your website well i hope you've enjoyed that if you have please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe to our youtube channel we'll be doing a lot more with plugins and divi in the future if you're interested in web design take a look down below we've got some great free web design courses as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our youtube subscribers so do take a look once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.